One way of defining lists in Scala is to use the list keyboard and we can, for example, write custom list equals to list. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 55. Shift enter, and you can see that the list of int is created. Also, the list can contain multiple data types. So, for example, we can define a custom list 2 equals to 1, 2, 2.4, 5, and it can also contain a string like hello Scala list and also it can also contain values of a true and false which are boolean so if i shift enter then you can see that the list here is a list of any it can contains any data types to fetch an element from a list we can write custom list to the name of the list and um, for example we can use an index for example if i use the index 3 you can see the value 5 and if I want to fetch the value hello scala list, I can write custom list 2 and index of 4. If I use the custom list 2.head, it will return the first element in the list and the tail will return all the elements except the element 1. So custom list 2, the tail, it should return all the elements except element 1. And you can see that we have elements 2, 2.4, and so on, up to the end of the list. We can check if an we can check if a list contains an element by using the contains uh, function. And for example, if I check that the list contains the value of 4, it's false because it doesn't have this value. I'm just uh, putting the print line here because want to use the custom list contains again so if i say value 5 it's true um, custom list 2 contains the value 5 exactly if you want to search for a function you can use the dot and then the tab operator and here you can see the list of all functions available in a scholar also we can define nested list so for defining a nested list i can find the variable nested list and use the list keyword again I want to have a list of 10 100 inside this list and another list of string scala and list and you can see that and you can see that the result is a list of list of any and it's a nested list for fetching an element from a list, you can use, uh, for example, this custom nested list. Suppose we want to fetch high. I would like to use the index one because this is corresponding to the index one. And then in the second list, you want the, the zero index, which is high. So if I want the value 100, I can use custom nested list of index 0 and index 2, and then the value 100 is printed. We can also define a list of tuples. So for example, we, I can write list of tuples, the list of the first tuple today and value of 10, and the second tuple, which is tomorrow value of 20 and you can define a list which has a tuple of a string to int tuple are also immutable so um, for example if i define a tuple like if it contains the values of today and 10 fetching elements from a tuple is a bit different so for example you can write print line test tuple dot and underline you can use the combination of dot and underline so for example you want the value one which correspond to today tuples are indexed from one or if you want the second value you can use the test tuple the name of the tuple and underline and value of two and then you can see that the 10 is printed if i want from to fetch an element from this list of tuples then i can use list of tuples and I would like to have the today. Today is in the first tuple, so I use the index zero, and then I can use 
the value of one and then the two days printed. If I write print ln list of tuples to extract, for example, tomorrow from this list, then I can write I want the index one and the value of one and tomorrow is also printed. Also, we can use syntactic sugar for defining a list in a Scala. So for example, I can write val test list one and I would like to have a list containing one. We use this cons. This is um, the notation cons. And then you want to have value two and value three, this list. And also this is um, the end of the list. You, you can use this nil for specifying the end of the list. Uh, you have the first list, which has the type of int. And also you can define another test list too, which has values of strings like hello. Use the cons keyword and then you can use Scala and then cons keyword list and then cons keyword nil, end of the list. So uh, if I don't use this nil at the end, it will raise an error because value cons is not a member of a string. So we should use the keyword nil at the end. We can concatenate two lists in a Scala by different approaches. So for example, um, I would say test concat approach one. And then in this approach, we can use the test list one we can use the plus plus operator test list two and you can see that the list one is concatenated to the list two or we can use the test can can define a test concat two and we can concatenate the first list with the second list by using this um by using this operator and then test list two and you can see that the two lists are also concatenated. We can also concatenate two lists. We can use the list keyword concat test list one and test list two. And we can see that the list is created and contains the first list and the second list. I would like to prepend value 49 to this list of test concat app one and also append another value like 109 to the end of the list we can see that the value 49 is prepended to the list and value 109 is appended to the list you can also define an empty list by using val v1 equals to nil and it will create for you an empty list or you can use val v2 the list both of them are the same you can also create a list and prefill it with values. For example, I can define a v3. You can say list.fill and you want to fill this list with five repeated values of an item. So five values of one and then you can see you have five times of value of one. Or you can say value four, for example, five times or other can change the frequency by saying six and then list of six items are created with value four. You can also do this with the string like you can define v4 list of fill five times with a specific string like hello Scala and you can see that the list of string with five times is created. Okay, now I would like to talk about useful functions which you can use um, with list. So if I print again the custom list here, I would like to show you a couple of useful functions for list. So for example, if you use the dot and the tab keyboard, you can see the list of all functions here. You can reverse a list by writing custom list reverse. And if you print, you can see that the custom list is reversed and also you can sort a list by writing custom list that sort if you just write sort and it brings you to sorted and you can shift enter and you can see that the values are sorted actually the original list was also sorted you can use the sorted function to sort the list also 
you can get a maximum value of a list by writing custom list.max. And also you can get the minimum value of a list by writing custom list that mean you can get the length of a list by writing custom list that length here the list has six elements also you can use the size function it calculates the length of the list for you and you can check if an element exists in a list by writing custom list contains for example does it contain the value 5 it's false or if I write custom list that contains the value 4 it is still false or if I write value 10 it is true and you can also convert a list to a string by using the make a string function and use um, like separators for example here I can use this separator like funny separator of face and you can see that the numbers are concatenated by this um, separator and then it's converted to a string you can also get substrings you can also extract substring from a list so for example if you can use the take right function and you want and i want to take the three elements from the right i can use also function of custom list drop it will drop for example the two it will drop the first two elements from the left side and if i shift enter you can see we have the value 30 40 50 and 55 which means that the first two elements are dropped or i can say that only the elements after index two are kept you can use also the function slice like custom list slice then you can get a slice of this list by writing for example i would like to have the element 2 to element 4 so element 2 to 4 means that 2 and 3 so we have the index 0 1 2 3 so 2 and 3 is 30 and 40 and you can see that it is printed on the screen i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please do so Thank you very much for your attention and see you next time.